This video is just covering Mendel's second law, the law of independent assortment. And the way in which you remember it is just think of sorting. You're sorting different alleles. We must be able to state the law. Members of one pair of factors separate independently of members of another pair of factors at gamete formation. So let's change the word factors. Members of one pair of alleles separate independently of members of another pair of alleles at gamete formation. The most important thing to remember about this law is that we're talking about two different genes, so two different traits. So let's take an example. We'll look at a plant and we look at two traits, tallness and pod colour. So with tallness, tall is dominant and dwarf is recessive. And with pod colour, green pod is dominant and yellow pod is recessive. So what happens when you cross a heterozygous dominant plant with a homozygous recessive plant? We begin with gamete formation. So the heterozygous dominant plant can have any T allele with any G allele. And this is the law of independent assortment. And the homozygous recessive plant, well, because it only has a small T and a small G, that's the only gamete that it makes. So the offspring that are produced are a tall green, a tall yellow, a dwarf green and a dwarf yellow. So four different phenotypes in a ratio of one is to one is to one is to one. So let's take another example. We'll cross two heterozygous dominant plants and the first thing that we do is look at gamete formation. So remember, any T allele can go with any G allele and so we have these four different combinations of gametes for each of the parent plants. Any T can go with any G because they are on different chromosomes. So what is the result of this dihybrid cross? Well, there's a very particular ratio of phenotypes, nine tall and green, three dwarf and green, three tall and yellow, and one dwarf and yellow. So there's a very particular ratio of nine is to three is to three is to one ratio of phenotypes. The law of independent assortment applies because the genes are located on different chromosomes. If the genes were on the same chromosome, for example, as in linked genes, well then the law of independent assortment would not apply and you would not get the same ratios of phenotypes. So that was Mendel's second law. Be able to state it and explain it and also recognise the significance of the law. It means greater variation. So the best of luck.